Hey mini enthusiasts, how are you doing? I hope you're well, I hope you're having a great day. If you own a classic mini, chances are in the past some numpty has jacked it up on the floor pan and dented the floor pan. There's plenty of numpties out there and unfortunately that's what's happened on Project TARDIS. So I'm going to try and get the dent out the floor pan without damaging the sound deadening or paint. So let's get on with it. Right, we're going to have a go at straightening this floor out. I don't know how well it comes out on the camera, but it's been jacked from underneath. Dented up in this corner quite a bit and I want to get it out without messing up the sound deadening too much. I don't know whether you can see under there. But yeah, front of all that floor has been jacked up on, which is a bit of a shame not uncommon so the first thing I'm going to do is remove this floor bang hit bung here there's a couple of tabs on the bottom in fact there's about six tabs so I'm just going to bend them straight so that should lift out and I can possibly reuse it right so I bent the tabs up on the underside that will just lift out now and I'll tell a lie there's four tabs on it so the idea is to stick something through there with maybe a big washer on or something like that and use that hole to pull down on. Bear with me, I will try and rig something up. So I think I've got a plan. I've got a big washer there with a bolt going through the middle. I've got a rubber pad underneath it to stop it scratching up the paintwork too much. That goes underneath to another big fat washer. And then I've got a big lever bar which goes from there to the subframe. And I'll try and show you when I push that down on the lever bar that floor is flexing and I reckon if I give that enough oomph that'll straighten out but the first thing I'm going to do is get the heat gun and just warm up the metal from underneath as well try and stop this from cracking if I warm it up a bit it'll go a bit soft right then let's give it a go I've warmed that floor up from underneath and on top it's quite it's hot to touch now for a few minutes let's give it a good old lever I'm just using my foot Do you know what? That has done it. A bit more. Wow. Maybe a little bit dented up here still. But I reckon I can probably put a block of wood on that and just push that because that's quite a thin panel now yeah I will be able to right let me get that off it's still really hot well I'm pretty pleased about that actually melted the glue there look at that that's mostly out that is bear with me I'm just gonna get a block of wood I might have to pull the camera out of the way to do this. So I'm going to put that there. I'm just going to stand on that because I reckon that'll go down with my weight on it. Right, there we go. I've got to say, I'm really, really pleased with that. That's gone much better than I expected it to. And it wasn't as difficult to do. So if you want to use this technique yourself, I actually used, this is like a door repair tool for an old 
90s Ford when they had the round tibby locks in them. So it's like a dimple, dimple die, I think they call it. Um, so yeah, when the cars used to get stolen, they'd just twist the locks in the door and that reshaped the hole for the lock. So I just used that. That was a top and bottom spacer. So I then cut out a bit of rubber. So floor bung out, rubber over the dimple die, which I just used as a big washer, really. That one then goes underneath. It's got a thread in it. So I could stick a threaded bolt down and through. And then literally that stuck out the bottom, big lever bar against there, and then up against the subframe, and I just stood on that so it pulls the floor down. That has worked an absolute treat. Like I say, well pleased. You can just uh, get a big rubber mallet and just beat the floor flat. That does work, but it breaks up all of this soundproofing, sound deadening, um, and it can make a bit of a mess. But that, I've, I've even put the original floor bung back in now. So I just heated up the glue again, it goes all soft, put the floor bung back in, and that's glued back in. So a bit of cleaning up to do around here, just very, very, very light surface rust, just where the metals, um, sorry, the paint's been chipped away where it's been bent down, but that is flat, uh, you know, might not win an award for flatness, but it is pretty good. It's back to being the original shape, it doesn't look dented up anymore. Let me show you that underneath. So the underside, although it's a bit grubby, it is nice and flat again now. That slinger, is it a slinger bracket? I can't remember what it's called anyway. That's a bit people mistake for a jacking pad and it's not. So I straighten that back out, rest of the floor straight. Like I said from the start, these are original seals. They're a bit, bit of surface rust on them, but that just all wants cleaning up there. Nice and solid. But, um, yeah, very, very, very pleased with the results there. Very pleased.